Welcome to the Austin Method, where we help you develop the skills of square dancing. This segment is called Behind the Scenes. This is where we share things with you other than the skills we're already sharing in the Austin Method. So here's the deal. We've already talked about dancing boy and dancing girl. So why would you ever, if you're a boy, why would you ever dance girl? If you're a girl, why would you ever dance boy? Well, there's lots of reasons to switch sides. One is just to have the challenge of it. It's fun if something's pretty easy and you want to give it a try to switch sides and just for the challenge of it, because it does feel different. Maybe there's a shortage. The girls often learn the boy side because there's often a shortage of actual boys. So there are a lot of girls dancing that can dance boy. Another reason is competition. Now, we don't have a lot of competition in square dancing, but every now and then, just for fun, we do something like form up a, a square of girls and form up a square of boys and see what happens. So all half the boys are dancing girl, half the girls are dancing boy, and there's friendly competition just to see who's going to break down first. And there's a whole lot of laughing and, and silliness that goes on with that, but it's fun. Another is to learn how to just switch identities and recognize your identity from the other side because girls are often in a particular position during, say, past the ocean, which is a call that you obviously haven't learned yet. But the point is, being in a different position, being the other side, square dancing feels different. Um, there are reasons for that, and we'll get into that a little bit later. But the definitions will become clearer because when you dance always from the same side, it starts to feel like the definition means you do this in this direction, you do this in this direction, you do this in the other direction. And that's not the definition. It never was the definition because the definition is most definitions are genderless. Now there's three calls that are gender specific, but generally the calls are genderless and so you should learn them in a very neutral way. Because of certain circumstances, if you always dance the boy side or you always dance the girl side, calls start to feel like they're supposed to turn one way or the other. So here's a, a thing. Often in a club, you'll see a, a sash that says boys, or you'll see a badge that says boys, or one that says girls. Do you need to identify as a boy or a girl while you're dancing? Generally, no. The other dancers know what side they're dancing. You know what side you're dancing. Generally, they don't need to know what side you're dancing. Except when you're in a line and there's a boy's trade or a girl's trade, sometimes it's smart to call out, girl. You know, if I'm dancing girl, I'll just say girl so that the other girl can find me and she knows who to trade with. But other than that, it's really not necessary. It's kind of a crutch that people think they need, but they really don't. Uh, you, your better dancers already know this. They'll dance either side. But sometimes newer dancers think they need to see a boy to realize it's a boy. Make sure to like and comment before you go. This is the way YouTube tells other people that you found this material engaging one way or the other. Comments are always appreciated. Likes and shares, of course, are much appreciated. And remember, however well-informed and carefully considered they may be, the opinions expressed here are solely my opinions and don't necessarily reflect the opinions of others involved in this production. Thank you for visiting the Austin Method. We hope to see you on the dance floor soon.